kids stare. People stare. Doesn't bother me. Especially doesn't bother me when, when kids stare. I understand the honesty of kids and, and uh, just the, the, how genuine they are. And, and you know, when I see, a, I see a kid, you know, stare and then, I, you know, a kid will, you know, I'll hear him look over at his mom and he'll, he'll say it loud enough to where the mom or dad knows I heard it. You know, mom, look at his face. Or I'll even have some of them walk up to me, mister, what's wrong with your face, you know? And, and but when adults stare, yeah, it, it does kind of piss me off because they know better and they're you shouldn't stare yeah you know you can look and glance and and that's fine but don't sit there and gawk and stare at them you know you have more sense than that I mean it's just it's it's ugly some people may think you know it's hard it's hard to live with my face like that but, but it actually isn't that hard you know I, I'm you know I've, I've learned to accept it I've learned to, to, to live with it and if this wasn't here then I wouldn't be here. You know, it was either it was almost a matter of life or death. You know, they they had to the surgery had to be done. You know, or I wouldn't be here. So it's it's very easy for me to to live with it and to accept it. Did the Easter Bunny bring you all kind of stuff? Uh, did he bring you all kind of stuff? You know, before I got sick, things were good. They were rough for a while, but they got better. There we go. A lot better. <laughs> Scott was healthy. Jess and I were finally engaged. And I had a great job at Walmart. When I was a kid, I could remember people saying stuff like, without your health, you have nothing. Or your health is the only blessing you need. Something like that. But I'm going to tell you what, you don't know how true that is until the day you feel like you might die.